We're gonna be drawing an otter today. This is one cute otter. Okay, so to get started, we're gonna start with the head. So you want it somewhere up here, and it's kind of gonna be a rounded square. So it looks kind of, if you guys can see the shape I'm making. I usually go over it a few times so I can get a feel for the shape. All right, I'm happy with that shape. Now we're gonna do cute little ears on either side. And in its hair, we're gonna give it a, oh, inside here, the inside, and then a race right here. So it actually looks like it's a part of it. Okay, we're gonna do a flower in there. So start with a flower. If you want to make it like a boy, you can opt out of flower, but I just thought the flower was so cute. Okay, so it's kind of like a rounded flower. We can erase in there to make it come over. And we'll put a leaf in there. Okay, happy with that. All right, now we're gonna do the rest of the face. Do a rounded the mouth area. We're gonna put a nose in there. Nice little oval. Gonna erase in there. And the signature side smile. All right, we're gonna do eyes. You guys can make them as big or small as you like. Don't forget the shiny. So we're gonna be actually sharpening those in, but right now I just color them in. All right, so now we're just gonna get a rough draft of where this body's gonna go. So do it lightly so we know, okay. So the body's gonna go somewhere in there. So we're gonna start off with that shape. All right, we're gonna put the hands in. So you're gonna come over here. I first start I'm like, okay, hands are gonna start here, go in, they're gonna be holding flowers. Okay, I'm gonna put some fingers on it. Actually, let's erase. There we go. We're gonna put its cute little fingers. So they're just little fingers coming off. Fingers. Let's get some fingers on this side. This is like the thumb. Finger, finger, finger. And then I erase in there so I can see the fingers. Okay. We're going to put a flower in its hand. All right. Cute. Okay, I got a joke of the day. Why did the otter want to go to NASA? Because he could, so he could go to otter space. Get it? Otter space, funny, funny. All right, so we have that part on, going on. Okay, we're gonna do its legs there. So it's just gonna come off of here and inside here. We got one and this one. So we got two legs, and then we're gonna put that center tummy part, and it's gonna go behind. This one's up a little higher, this one goes right behind, that's fine. So let's erase so it becomes one, and then we're gonna fix this up a little here. Erase in there. All right, can you see my cute otter? It's coming along. Now we're gonna put a tail coming off it. If you need to pause it and catch up, that's great. All right, otter was pretty quick. Now we're gonna put the water on the outside. This one's pretty, you're just gonna flow it however you want. No perfect way to do this. And then you can make them thinner or thicker. Let me do a couple of those. And I like to put the bubbles so it represents water. And you can put the bubbles wherever you want. Okay, we are ready to Sharpie. Okay, so take your Sharpie and go over all your pencil marks. 
Okay, so a little fun fact about otters. They eat fish and crab and urchins, sea stars. What else? Abalone, squid, and octopus. So pretty much anything that's in that ocean. And so some animals have a tough time in the water being able to open shells. Not a problem for the otters. They are quite talented because what they do, they use their little brains in their hands and they smash the shells on a rock to get them open. So they're little talented critters. There you go. I thought that was pretty neat. Usually we see otters, they float on their tummies. I mean, on their backs, you can see their tummies. And their babies in their arms or usually shells or rocks or things in their arm. They float along. Nose, now in the nose. I'm debating it, and we're just gonna color that puppy in. Sadly, otters are on the endangered list. So that means there's not as many as there used to be. So that's sad. Okay, side smile. But otters are social animals. So what that means, they like to be together and they hang out in groups and they're called rafts, the groups. And I didn't know this, but otters are Set, use segregation. That means they go in groups of their kind. So the boys with the boys and the girls with the girls. And they can go in their little packs or groups from two to 1,000 otters. They have like a little party going on every day. Anything else? Oh, okay, so they weigh between 31 and 99 pounds. So 31, that seems about average, and 99, wow. Oh, we got an advertisement on the radio. I have to see what it's for. It's not part of my group. Hmm, I have no idea. Oh, it's about snoring. Hmm. Some of us snore. I guess people need some medicine for that. But anyways, as I was talking about their weight, if an otter was 99 pounds, holy schmockanoolies. That is a big otter. That's eating a lot of food there, Mr. Otter. Let's see. Oh, they live. Can you guys guess how long they live? They live from 10 to 20 years. That's a pretty good life for an animal. And size wise, they are about three feet to 4.9 feet. It's probably the average normal human. Okay, we're doing our water. Okay, so I'm gonna outline the otter. Why I do that is I just think it just gives it a nice finished look. And you guys are able to turn your paper however you want. I'm keeping, I usually I turn mine all around as I'm drawing, but I'm trying to keep it straight for you guys. I don't know what the weather is like in your neck of the woods, but today here, it is very warm, very muggy outside, but sunny. 
love the sun. Definitely even helps because I use natural light for art. The best kind of light to use for art is natural light. It makes a big difference. If I just use like light bulbs and stuff, the next day when I do the natural light, it just does not look as good. So best, best way to do artwork is in front of a window. So you have the natural light coming in. And then you can see the exact colors and everything just looks crisper and better. to being done as I said before so when you're going around and if you happen to leave a gap like see how I left that little gap not a big deal just color it in all right look at that it's ready to go so we're gonna color now oh first let's erase so I like to take a big eraser you can use any eraser you have and I like to erase my pencil marks Usually when I do artwork, I like to listen to music or podcasts or books on the digital books. Okay. Get off all of our eraser goobers. Ah, satisfying. Okay, we can now start coloring. I'm gonna go find a brown. You can pick any brown you want. I will use a slightly darker brown. So when you're coloring, make sure you color all the same direction. It gives it a clean look. So if I'm starting this direction, I wanna continue this direction. I'm doing a medium holding down. I'm not too light, not too dark, just holding my pencil, medium strength down. And if you don't like it, if it's, I mean, if it's not dark enough, you can go over it again. Sometimes when you go over a second time, you want to go the opposite direction. So if I wanted it darker, I probably would go that way. Okay. Awesome. Okay, come down here. Usually I like to do art every day in some way or another. Thanks for a happy day. Even if you can draw for a few minutes a day, get a little art in. It's very rewarding taking a, a paper with nothing on it and creating something, just like a canvas. Okay, coming down to the tail. If I'm going too fast, just pause, finish your coloring. Okay, so just like I do, I'm gonna go around the outside and I'm going to darken in the edges. Why I like doing that, it just gives it make a good look. Otter. I usually name my drawings. I am naming her Pip. P I P Pip. Nice and simple.
you have a favorite animal? I ask my kids, do you have a favorite animal? Some do, some don't. Some like them all. All my kids love animals. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is find the skin color one. So it's gonna look like this. Ah, oh, my signature pink cheeks. Loving the pink cheeks. I realize I made my honor really dark, but that's okay. They could be cousins. No paint pictures gonna look alike. They look different, that's even better. Nobody wants everything to be exactly alike. That is boring. Different is good. So I'm getting orange and purple and green. Let's get orange, purple, and green. And what I like to do, I usually hold whatever I'm not using in my hand. So these are the three colors I'm using. So I'm gonna go for the orange here. Okay, go around the outside. Black, go around inside circle, okay. And we'll make this one orange too. We'll color that in. I love the colors of orange and purple together. Good contrast in colors. Complimentary. Okay, I'm doing purple insides. So I'm gonna go darker on the outside and as I'm going inside, I'm gonna go lighter. So darker on the outside, and lighter. Now I'm gonna head for my green. So I'm gonna press down harder around the edge and then I'm gonna get lighter as I go out. That gives it a cool look. It's gonna be darker along here and then it's gonna go lighter, darker along there, and it's gonna go lighter. All right, coming along, looking cute. Okay, so now we're gonna go for a blue for the water. Let's see what color blue, see this color. You pick any color blue, I'm picking this one. You don't need really expensive, I mean, Nice expensive art supplies are nice, but you don't need expensive art supplies. I just got these at the grocery store. They work great. Love me some Corolla. Okay, here we go. Go along. Oh, definitely a different color blue, but that's okay. Go around the outside of your otter with a blue, pressing down hard, because you want to make it darker around the edge. I guess you can do that first. Let's go around the outside. You guys are doing great. Okay, so I'm around my otter. Now I'm gonna go the same direction. Oh, let's do the inside of the water. Let's go around that. We're gonna do all our dark spots. So I'm pressing down pretty hard right now so I can make it darker. And then I will go lighter filling in that water.
Okay, let's go around all of our bubbles. So now, let's try to go one direction, and now we're gonna fill in the water. along okay you can make yours go all the way to the edge I've been drawing for several hours today so my hands are a bit tired so I'll probably just go a little ways but you can make it go all the way to the edge if you wanted to or you can take a break come back and finish the edges later okay and the final stretch Okay, so this is gonna be blue over here, but on the next one, I'm making it green. So I'll pick the, I'm gonna use the same green I used here. Go along hard, along the edge. Go on both sides. Okay. Color that in. Okay, same thing on this side. I'm going too fast, just press pause. They come back to us. I say we are close to being done, so I'm gonna let you guys finish this on your own. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna have you guys do the other blue, but we're gonna finish this for today. Hope you guys enjoyed doing the otter and a little bit of tidbit knowledge and a joke. So have a good day, bye.